Hello friends, today we will see how to make this axial brushless motor. Step by step we will see it. This is what the final stage and then I will show you how I have prepared this motor. This I am putting a very slow speed. It can rotate at any speed. This is the disc type motor. This I have made through hand. You are able to see it. Very slow speed I put it. Let us see step by step. These two discs I have how I prepared, how I fixed this board and all that I will show you how winding and all. Okay friends. So friends, this is a axial type brushless motor. To make this we need two components namely the upper disc and the lower disc. This and then the bolts and nuts we need here for winding purpose. I will show you this will be the basic thing I, we have to prepare for pre uh, completing this motor. There will, this will be the bottom disc. For rigidity I have attached two cardboard disc here using a gum. Similarly on the top also same uh, tin sheet it is round in shape to accommodate those magnets. Once you prepare this, this becomes um, the construction what you call chases for the motor. The later thing I will show you how to fix these nets here. So after fixing we can enamel it properly and then wind it using copper wires. The center bush uh, I have made it because I cannot get bush like this. So I have taken a 3 mm rod. This will be a copper sheet. You can take any thin sheets copper sheets. Slowly you have to bend it according to this to according to this rod slowly step by step you can through your hands or through any screwdrivers you can do it see that it is properly rotated like this ok friends like this only you have to rotate it and you can make it smooth by like this any surface even surface the bush gets ready ok friends I will Later on I will show you how to fix those nets in the disc and how to wind it. Okay. Oh, friends, see now I have fixed those no what do you call bolts on that. Are you able to see it? I made a drill using a drill bit like this. I made a drill. So the right MM drill I made it. So slowly I screwed these nets and using this acrylic adhesive, I made it rigid. I can later on I will put what you call uh, that amide, amide adhesives I will put so that that will be permanent uh, binding will be there. So while during pro running of the motor nothing will happen that is very important. So just this is very important after all we have to go for winding then finally see how the motor runs. See that this is all this I have seen so distance should be there this distance. So that magnet will come here. Otherwise, you have to put some screw. I mean, vertical washers, and make it run smooth. This is the engineering aspect. Okay, friends. Next, we'll see how to wind and make a final the motor, the actual motor. So, friends, now we have prepared the lower disc and the upper disc. See, this is the upper disc. Here, I am going to fix the magnet. This will be the lower disc. I have fixed those bolts properly. Even I applied the epoxy resins so that it that will be more rigid because during rotation in my previous motor I saw so much of vibrations are there because of magnetic force. So all that I reduced it by increasing the base strength and also fix it here. So this is what we can do now we can slightly we can insulate this uh, yeah these bolts we can insulate it because while, while winding those wires should not become in contact with this. So that is why insulations will be better. So one thing I have done. Similarly, we can do for this one also. Since we are going for anti-clockwise direction winding, I can also apply this insulation in anti-clockwise. It. 
ਕਾਰਡ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ extra pieces we can cut out so we have given some insulations while winding no all this will become even on the pressure it will be so it will be even so we have protected it from naked contact with the wires and this it will gen generate heat during functioning of the motor similarly the base also the base also i can do it you know play configuration wiring all anti clockwise road winding that's all this will be the 24.5 standard wiring wire gauge 24.5 this will be sufficient the more thick means more current it will consume this will consume less current less heat also anti clock So I have winded in anti-clockwise 60 turns I have done using this 24.5 SWG. Now we can go for the second pole. Before going, what you have to do? See that you take a long wire like this. Let me show you. Enough wire you have to take it out. make a winding lights later on we can use it for connection so this we are done let this be here like this the first one second one here taken okay then same just continue like that i'll show you okay second one Two, three, four. Like that, you have to continue. So you have to keep this. You have to keep it. We'll use it. Five, six, seven, eight, thirty, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. Fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. So I done this. So this wire, the last wire, which you got now, able to see. This I have to connect with this. Okay. this with this and join each other okay 
okay friends this one this one so we have got three poles we have got now the next job is to see whether there are any short circuits by using multimeter we can find out by connecting with this and with this if there is any short circuit it will show multimeter so that should be absent short circuit should be absent otherwise the motor will become heat it won't run smoothly okay friends i'll show